Welcome back. Let us now continue uh, building our plugin. Now we are going to add a text box that will be the source of our input from the user. This may not be the ideal usage of the text box, but for the sake of this uh, example demo, let's just do that. So draw, drag a label control and change the text to enter item to display and drag a text box here. So let us call this as txt item. So if you are interacting with the control from the code behind, so you have to make sure that you rename the control accordingly. That is uh, descriptive enough for you to easily uh, retrieve or uh, identify. Okay, so next we have to modify the code behind this button control since we are now uh, getting the input from the uh, text box instead of the combo so let's double click on this and this time let us just uh, comment this code here let's put another comment using text box so now the choice will be coming from the txt item that text but we also need to add the trim. This uh, trim method will uh, get rid of all the extra spaces after the text. And that's it. So if the user enters a layer, it will display the layer, line type, textile, and so on. If he enters all, then it will display everything. Otherwise, if none of these choices here are entered, then nothing will happen on the form. So let's save our project and let's give it a try. Okay, let us open one of the drawings again here. And let us load our plugin net load controls demo and then demo so now we will be using this text box so if i type in layer and click on show items there you go if if i type in uh, line type so same behavior as the combo box, right? Text style. Yeah, because they're using the same code except the choice is uh, coming from different source. And if I type in all, yeah, if I type in anything, let's just clear this one first. Oh, we haven't handled the clear yet. Anyway, so Let's say, let me just start with the layer. And if I type in here anything, nothing will happen because there is no, it's not handled in any of the condition. You can add like, please enter either layer, line type, something like that in the message box. So let me close this form and let us modify our code to handle just that but before before we handle that let me just code the the clear all button here so all we have to do is clear the layer that data source equals null lst line type the data source equals null also 
and LST textile that data source equals null and that's it for the clear all so now let us handle the the option if the user enters anything that's not one of these uh, types here one of these items here so all we have to do is put in else then you can say message box dot show please enter a valid value okay then the title of our message box is invalid uh, entry or something then message box buttons that okay message box icon that error and that's it let's give it another try let's open one drawing and then load our plugin so type in demo okay so layer see layer is different from layer with the capital l right uh, c sharp is case sensitive remember that so this layer is not the same as layer we can do that to we can handle those kinds of case uh, issues by using either to upper or to lower and we will just capitalize all the the items that we have but uh, let's just continue with our testing here so line type yep and then let's say all yep then clear everything clear all works now if i type in line type that won't that won't give us anything because it's not the correct one if we type in anything here same thing okay so that's how you handle those kinds of validation the errors and that's it for this uh, text box option as i mentioned earlier this is not a good uh, way to handle when you are giving the user options it's either you provide them the combo box or radio button or check box depends on your project requirement or your the logic your business logic so anyways that's it for the text uh, option in the next video we are going to uh, provide the user with another option using the radio button control i'll see you there